Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you are new on this channel, I read books, I do reading vlogs, I also read tarot, and I love to talk about Kindles. They are one of my very favorite things in this world since they help me read my very favorite books and I am obsessed with Kindles and I talk about them quite a bit on this channel. So any of that interests you, please stick around. I just finished the This Video Ends When I Find a Five Star Read vlog and you will have to watch that one to find out which one of these books was the five star read. You can see some of them are physical and then I've got one on my Kindle. So I will link that video in the description as well as the video where I made my TBR jar. And I also made a vlog where I gifted some TBR jars to my friends as well. So these are what I read in February. And these are some options for what I have to read at the end of February and March. I really, really, really want to read When the Moon Hatched. Like, look at how gorgeous this book is. I unboxed it in the five star vlog as well. It's pretty hefty. I think it's like 800 pages or something, maybe 600. And then I also got Heartless Hunter from Book of the Month. But as you'll see in this video, I tried to read physical books and I just didn't have the best time with it. I really, really prefer my Kindle. So I am like first in line to have this from Libby from my library. So I'm going to try and read it on there. I might start it physically, but I do like to have the physical books as trophies for my favorite, favorite, favorite books. Sometimes I just buy them because they're pretty. I'm sure we can all relate to that. And I hope that they are good. This one I really wanna read with an audiobook. I really like to either have the Kindle or the audiobook version. This one is on Kindle Unlimited, but I am waiting to see if an audiobook comes out for When the Moon Hatched. So let's go ahead and let's see what the trusty TBR jar would say if I was going to just pick out of the TBR jar. So this one, this little piece of paper right here is When the Moon Hatched. And you can see on here that I have different genres. I have purple for fantasy, pink for romance, yellow for thrillers, suspense, mystery. And then I have an other category for like science fiction, just regular fiction, that kind of thing. So let's just go ahead and let's see what the TBR jar would choose for me if I wasn't reading either of these two. I also have Never Lie from the library. So I kind of feel like maybe I should read that and then see if Heartless Hunter becomes available. But I'm feeling either fantasy or thriller. I haven't read fantasy in a little bit because I just finished reading the seven year slip. And so I'm kind of in the mood for something fantasy related. So let's see what the jar will tell me if I pick out a purple slip from in here. And I really stuffed it quite full, so it's hard to reach around in here. So I'm gonna mix them all up and then I'm going to pull one out. Okay, so Trial of the Sun Queen came out, and this is on Kindle Unlimited. I put KU next to it so I would remember. So I'm going to go see how close I am on my wait for Heartless Hunter. I'm going to go see if there's any news about an audiobook for When the Moon Hatched, and I'm going to go read the description for Trial of the Sun Queen. There was also one on Kindle Unlimited that I really wanted to read called The Alchemists of Loom. So... I may bypass the jar this time and just put this on my next month's TBR. We'll see. I'm going to keep this out. And I will keep you all updated on the next thing that I read. So I made a short asking you guys which one I should read next. I'll put it over here on the left just so you can see it. Make sure you subscribe so you can help me pick my next books. But as soon as I started reading Never Lie, I got like 4% of the way in. That was the one that won. Um, I already had Heartless Hunter in hardcover from Book of the Month, but I just really wanted to read it on my Kindle. And as soon as I got to like 4% through Never Lie, Heartless Hunter became available on Kindle through my library app. So I just had to get it. So now I might be reading both of them at the same time, or I might try and finish Heartless Hunter before my library hold is up. So I will keep you updated if this is a double reading situation with like fantasy and thriller or if I'm just going to do one at a time. So we'll see. I have the Kindle and audiobook for Never Lie and then I have the Kindle book for Heartless Hunter. So 
I'm really excited. Heartless Hunter seems like, apparently it's like a, what does it say? Enemies to lovers doesn't get more high stakes than a witch and a witch hunter. I was going to say, it's like a vampire and a vampire hunter or a witch and a witch hunter um, falling in love. And what's funny is one of them is named Rune and it's spelled differently than Rune Dannon, but it's just kind of funny. There's the description in case you were thinking about reading it. The cover is beautiful and it says the Crimson Moth book one, which makes me think that there are going to be obviously there's gonna be another one but maybe even more so we will see and i love at the top here how it says her deadly her deadliest enemy or her greatest love and this cover is beautiful so i'm glad that i have it i'm glad that i got it from book of the month and also frida mcfadden never misses in my opinion so i'm really excited to read both of these whether it's at once or one after the other okay i was going to read both of these at the same time but now I just got a notification that I can't renew the audio to never lie because too many people are waiting. So I officially have 48 hours to read Never Lie if I want the audiobook to go with it. And I love having both at the same time. So I guess we're just going to go with Never Lie and then we'll do Heartless Hunter. Okay, so I'm 7% into Never Lie. It's really good so far. Honestly, it's drawing me in and I really want to know what happens, so hopefully this will be a quick read. And I just got a comment from someone who just started Heartless Hunter, and I'm so excited. They said it's really good so far, so keep me updated on that, and I will keep you updated. The faster I read Never Lie, the faster I can get to Heartless Hunter, and I'll also be doing a monthly wrap-up pretty soon as well, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. And then I also have some book mail. The first one I already opened a little bit. I got these cute little stickers from One Dark Window. Let's see, I got it from Awfully Nerdy Co. on Etsy. So if you wanna check them out, go ahead and look at them on Etsy. And I, look at this cute little, wait, is this a bookmark and I just bent it? Oh, wait, it's so cute. I love these little ghosts and I didn't have a bookmark, so that's perfect. And the stickers say, well, actually, there's a few. Let me go ahead and open them, see what's in here. So I love collecting books, or not books. Well, I love collecting books, I do. But I love collecting stickers on my Kindle from books that I cannot stop thinking about. Like, you can see I've got Throne of Glass. I've got Iron, well, not Iron Flame. Yes, Iron Flame, but Fourth Wing. Um, I have some Elvish there from Lord of the Rings. More Fourth Wing. Then I have some Akatar and Crescent City up on here. But I wanted to add some One Dark Window stickers because I just love that book so much, One Dark Window and Two Twisted Crowns. So this was one of the sayings in there. And then we have some of the cards that are in there. They're like magic cards. This is a really cool magic system in this book. If you haven't read that series, the Shepherd King series called Providence Cards, and they each have something different that they do. That's so cool. If you can see that scythe card sparkling like that. Oh, they all sparkle. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, definitely check them out on Etsy. These are so cool. And definitely check that book out. So I feel like I feel like this could go like right there underneath. I'll have to find a spot. I might make a video or maybe I'll do it later in this video where I kind of find spots for things. This one says, the girl, the king, and the monster they became. Love it. Oh no, wait, I might have to use this one too. I'll have to find a place for this one because I love how this is just the outlines of the spines of the book or the books in the series. Those are so pretty. And then there's like a raven that's also sparkly. I don't know how they did that effect but that's the coolest thing ever. Again, let me find the Etsy shop. Again, these came from Awfully Nerdy Co. on Etsy, and you could probably just scan that. That might work to scan that with your phone to follow them on Instagram, and there's their website. So, so thank you, Awfully Nerdy, for creating such cool stickers. I'll have to figure out how to put a bunch of those on the back of my Kindle. And then I also have a book that just came out today. Okay. I have to zoom out a little bit, but this is A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle Jensen, and I think she actually wrote 
I think it was Bridge Kingdom. But what's so interesting about this cover, so first of all, the cover, let's see if I can get, get the camera to see it without bumping the camera too much. This is actually very tactile and kind of raised on the cover here, which is really cool. And then, and the most exciting part, although that was really unexpected, it has these blue foiled edges. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a really shimmery blue. Kind of matches my nails a little bit, but it's really, really, really pretty. I hope the camera is picking that up. And this is, let's go ahead and read the description. A shield made and blessed by the gods battles to unite a nation under a power hungry king while fighting her growing desire for his fiery son in this Norse inspired romance. Okay, this is for sure going on my next month's TBR. And I actually think that I have this on hold before I knew I was gonna buy the physical copy because of the blue foiled pages they got me. Before I knew I was gonna buy that, I actually put this on hold on Libby. So I think it should be coming soon as an audiobook. And I love that this is book one because as I discussed with Heartless Hunter, I love it when I know that there are gonna be more books coming. So very exciting that we have book mail. This is quite heavy too. This is a very substantial book. So not only do we have book mail, but we have some stickers to organize on my Kindle. So maybe we'll take some time to do that quite soon. And I need to get reading on Never Lie. So that way I can make sure I don't lose my library download. Okay, so I'm at... 58% of Never Lie. It's really, really good, but I feel like I know Frida McFadden well enough that I feel like she's like throwing a ton of red herrings in there. And I think we're supposed to think we know what's going on with the like villain, I guess. But I think it's going to be a twist. I think it's going to be a red herring. I think I'm going to finish this probably just right now. And then I will film my monthly wrap up. So make sure that you are subscribed so you see those monthly wrap ups because I need to wrap up everything that I read this month. And I'll do my next month's TBR, which involves these two among others. And I put a couple more on hold on Libby, so I'll talk about that. I also need to make time, maybe tonight or tomorrow, to put these in the back of my Kindle because some of the stickers are slipping even more than they were before. So I feel like it would be really fun to just kind of like this one's slipping over here. <laughs> one slipped behind the dragon. I just feel like things could be reorganized in here. And I also was thinking my mom has just the regular Kindle. So I might actually look at the comparison because for some, for some reason, sometimes the paper white seems a little bit heavy. And I'm just so curious. I know I do not need another Kindle, but I'm so curious to see what that would look like as a comparison because I did film a Kindle comparison with the Oasis which appears to be discontinued and this one and then the Kindle Fire HDX which was the one that I had before I had the Oasis so I think I might actually film a Kindle comparison between this one and just the regular Kindle as well so you can see because I've gotten some questions about like sizing and weight and this one isn't so bad like it really is pretty light for what it does and it has a bigger screen and then the pop socket for sure helps. But I just think it would be cool to compare. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. And I can definitely ask her if I can borrow it and do a little comparison so you can have even more Kindle stuff. So I just finished Never Lie. And what's so funny is I kept calling it Don't Lie in one of my previous videos. I can't remember which one. What's so funny is they actually used the term don't lie in the book way more than never lie. So I'm wondering if that was like an earlier title or something like that. Um, as far as Frida McFadden books go, I won't give any spoilers, but I didn't feel like it was as good as some of the books that I read from her. Or maybe I'm getting used to her writing style and I'm guessing things more. I wasn't able to fully guess things, but I had some ideas on it. It did have a lot of twists. I really liked that. And the description was completely different. Like, let me see what the description says about this book. 
because I'm just curious what it actually says versus what actually happened. Okay, so that's the description. I guess I didn't really read the description as much. I thought it was going to be like a couples therapy situation, but that is not how it panned out. And the cover makes a lot of sense once you know the twists. The cover actually makes a lot of sense now. So I am going to, I was reading the description for A Far Wilder Magic, which sounds really good. And then I have a couple of Kindle Unlimited ones, and I also have Kyland from Libby. But I think I'm going to go with Heartless Hunter. Whoa, that is really pretty. I love this cover. This one's about the witch hunter and the witch who fall in love, I think. So I'm, I need some fantasy after all of those thrillers. So I am about to film my monthly wrap up with all of these <laughs> lovely books. But before I do that, I wanted to actually take a second to redecorate my Kindle. And I think that I was actually going to put it in the vlog or put it in my monthly wrap up. But I think what I might do is I might actually make it its own video. I'm also going to stick a few of these down better because they keep sliding around. So I'm going to do a little sticker refresh with these stickers that I got from Awfully Nerdy Co. on Etsy. And I actually just bought another sticker last night and I totally forgot to use the discount code that they gave me, but that's okay. So check them out because clearly they have good stuff. So let's do a little sticker refresh. I just put in my book of the month order for this month and I am so excited. And I'm also working on reading Heartless Hunter, but I wanted to show you. Aww. I wanted to show you the map in here because on my Kindle, it's really small, and I just want I'm, I'm actually really glad that I have the physical version so I can see what's going on a little bit better. And this is really cool to get to kind of look at the details and look at each character. And I'm wondering, I have only so far read Rune's perspective because I'm not that far in, but I'm wondering if Gideon is the witch hunter and what's going to happen there. So I, th I don't know. I'm really liking it so far. It really is like a blend of a ton of different books that I've read and I'll keep you all updated. My book of the month order for this month is my favorite one that I think I've ever placed. So I'm so excited to unbox that for you guys. One of my friends also just invited me on a little mountain getaway and I kind of want that to be its very own vlog. So I might pause this one or end this one and pick it up once we're done because I feel like I just want that whole thing to be a vibe of like mountain reading. So make sure you're subscribed to see that mountain cabin reading vlog. It'll be really cute and it'll be cozy. It'll be a vibe. I think we're going to go look at some bookstores too. And we'll see how much longer this vlog goes. Also, you guys, I there's something wrong with me. I know that I have, I just did a Kindle comparisons video. I am fully aware that I have two functioning Kindles. I have the Oasis and then I have the Paperweight. For some weird reason... I just want the basic one. I just want to be able to put that in my purse and take it everywhere because the paper white's big and I'm afraid of scratching the screen. I don't want to put a screen protector on. It's my own problem, but like if you have the basic Kindle and you really like it, someone please let me know if you like it better than the paper white. Maybe I'm just looking to feed my own delusions and maybe I'll get it on Prime Day because I don't need to spend the money on it. I really don't. But I'm just, I'm for some reason feeling like I need it. I just had to read this page like four times because I was trying to figure out whose siblings was who, but I think I finally have it worked out. And then also we found out who Gideon is. Of course, he's like the person that they're like, oh, he's so dangerous and he's devoutly loyal to the New Republic and she's a spy. Okay, we're really seeing it go ahead and go down here pretty, pretty quickly into the book.
I do feel very drawn into this book like really quickly though and I think it's a pretty long one five hours and 29 minutes left and I'm only at five percent I've been reading for kind of a while so I'm excited that this is going to be a little bit of a longer book but I feel like I'm already in the story I already really like the characters so I'm loving the fact that more and more people like just random influencers who are kind of in other categories are now becoming book tubers and I love getting to watch them because I already love their content and I already love them so now I get to see them reading books which I love and I'm watching Gracie O'Connor so you can see she's reading Bride. I just feel like Bride is following me and now I'm wondering if I need to add it to this month's TBR because I just feel like I won't be satisfied until I've read it. Someone who has read Bride, let me know if it was good. Let me know if I should read it. Also, I love that my little Kindle comparison video is down there on the suggestions, which is funny because this TV is on a totally different account than the, vid the account that I post these videos from. And I just think it looks so cute. I'm so proud of it. So, I don't know. Will I read Bride? I probably will. Just, if you've read Bride, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. So I'm having a cozy little reading night, and I think I'm going to make some hot chocolate. This kind is so incredibly good. It's monk fruit sweetened, and so you don't even really need to add anything to it. It's just like perfect hot chocolate, and it just happens to be sugar free, so that way if I drink it before bed, it doesn't like give me a headache or crazy nightmares. Okay, all that foam is gonna go down, and then I just need to give this a little stir. Let's go read a little bit. Let's go.